Hey guys, Shaki. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Spring is officially here and summer is right around the corner. Are you guys ready? I am and so is my wardrobe. Now today's haul is collective. I have slowly accumulated all of these beautiful pieces over the past couple weeks and I'm so so excited to finally be able to wear them. Going into the first category, tops. I recently picked this one up from Gap. It is a pretty simple navy blue one. It is short sleeve and it does run quite long. It is a little longer than regular length. So it hits me a little past the hip area. I really like this for the material. It is a little on the thicker side border lining knitwear this top is super easy to throw on over any bottom this is definitely one of the staples now the next tee I got is actually the one I'm currently wearing this is a knitted t-shirt top from Land's End I've been really loving these heavier knitted tops because it does get a little cooler in the morning and evenings so these are the perfect tops to wear also I would like to point out that brown is really my color it makes me look so so tan and looks really good against my complexion now these these next few tops are a little bit more on the girlier slash feminine side which is one of the goals on my mood board for 2024 I really want to be more feminine in the way I dress I usually go for streetwear chic slash business casual but I want to make that a little bit more feminine starting with these tops this first one that you guys are gonna gag is this blouse tank top from Ann Taylor it is so so beautiful it's in a really light blush pink it is a crepe material so it's super lightweight and all over the tops are these little ditzy flower prints it is super subtle i also love that it's a little baby doll you do get ruching in the bust right here and then it just flows outwards i love this top so so much and i can't wait to wear it but yeah this next top is riding along the same scheme it is this tank top from banana republic and oh my gosh i am obsessed I also like that it has a slightly wider strap. It's also a little baby doll. You do get ruching in the bust cups right here and then it kind of flows out straight. Also a double line. There's also a lace trim all around. It's so so cute. I love the colors of this. I feel like it could be dressed up and down. This last top also surprised me so just just bear with me okay. I picked up this top from Abercrombie and I know what y'all are gonna say. Abercrombie is so Y2K. It's not really aligning with what I am envisioning for myself right now. But it is a baby doll top and that just sold me. Something about the silhouette of that right now I'm super interested in. It has these vertical stripes running all the way down. Very on brand. But just something about the silhouette right now I'm obsessed. This one has these ties in the front that like snatch your waist and it makes you look so so good. I kind of don't mind that it's from Abercrombie. Next up is bottoms and this category is quite short. I have been obsessing over linen recently and I love it for the spring and summer. It's just so so lightweight and easy to wear. I picked up this pair of linen shorts from Primark. It is in this gorgeous olive green and if you guys know me I also love this color so so much. The front looks kind of like utility slash cargo. Then on the back there is a elastic waistband as well as two back pockets. One thing I like about these shorts is that it's it's not too long. I have tried shorts that were like capri style in linen and it makes me look so stupid. So I've been really on hunt for shorter linen pants. Second pair is in a really basic color black. I picked these one up from J. Crew. Also has functioning pockets, same exact length. I do have to note that the material of this linen is way better than the Primark one. I mean obviously you get what you pay for but I'm so so excited to be rotating these in my wardrobe. Now on to the fun part. Dresses. I hadn't noticed that I have been hoarding so so many dresses but I'm so so excited to show you guys. Going along with the whole baby doll vibe, this first dress is exactly that. I picked this up from Target. It is their brand Universal Thread. It is a very basic baby doll dress. It has pockets though and it's a mini so it hits me like mid thigh. It has short sleeves and overall it's just really really casual. This is something I would throw on if I'm rushing to leave the house or like for an errand, super
super easy to wear another baby doll this one is actually from old navy and if you guys don't know old navy gap they're bouncing back harder than ever everything about this print just screams summer i love how it looks it also has pockets so it's really functional i don't know why but this dress is screaming barbecue or like a cute picnic this next dress isn't a baby doll but i have been obsessed with this silhouette it is this chambray i think that's the word or like denim looking material it is from american eagle i love it so so much it is giving like tennis skirt vibe it's really form-fitting and it is a mini but it does have some stretch to it i also appreciate how thick these straps are this could definitely be dressed up or down depending on what shoes you wear for a day out in a city full of errands and walking i would pair this up with like a white pair of tennis sneakers but if i do want to wear it to dinner i'll switch out for like a pair of sling bags preferably with like a short heel i feel like i'll tie in the look so so well this next dress is a little bit scandalous it is this white milkmaid dress this style was so so popular a few years ago and i actually found this in a goodwill bin I didn't get the chance to try it on obviously because those bins are disgusting but when i tried it on at home it just fits me like a glove and i feel like it is a flirtier option compared to all of my other dresses there is this elastic neckline so you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder both are very very cute but my issue with this is actually the neckline it is severely low even for a person who has like little to no tata i feel vulnerable so i feel like this is more of like a night out kind of outfit i don't really know yet now going back to linen for a little bit i picked up this dress from h&m gorgeous i love the print i love the color scheme i don't really know what the print is it kind of looks like forestry i don't really know how to describe it just love it so much and if you guys know me i love anything with like a cutout or like an open back and this dress does exactly that excuse the sad bow that i tried to tie it is an open back i love it so so much this is also a mini so it is for those days that are super super hot now like i said i really really like the color brown so i picked up this gorgeous baby doll maxi dress low-key i feel like this might be like a maternity dress because you could literally be pregnant and this would hide it i also like that there is a tie at the bust so you could really snap you in i got this a few weeks ago and i've worn it a ton of times already i am just obsessed it looks so effortless and on those days that are slightly cooler i'll just throw on like a shrug or a cardigan and it looks so so cute on a topic of brown i didn't get one baby doll dress but two this second one is a little bit different it has prints all over it honestly screaming early 2000s but i'm still so obsessed this one is a little bit shorter than the first one and a little bit more form fitted it's more like a straight baby doll if that makes sense but what i really like is that the bottom has this ruffle detailing at the very last tier now i don't know what's gotten into me recently or what sparks my obsession with these vintage dresses but i've been hoarding most of these have been from my secondhand shops as well as depop starting off slow with this gorgeous blue dress it has this beautiful floral detailing all over it and it is double lined i also really love the ruffles that's going on here it is midi length so it hits me a little past my knees it's also asymmetrical so the hem is slightly slants of it and i love that there's also ruffles everywhere i just love this so so much this this dress is definitely more on the casual side compared to the rest of what I have in store for you but I could easily wear this with a white pair of sneakers no problem following the ruffle trend I recently picked her up from Marshall this one is super long and flowy this is a maxi so it hits me right at the ankles but I am just obsessed with the amount of ruffles on this thing there is just so much ruffling going on it's also asymmetrical so it slants again onto one side honestly i don't know where i'm gonna wear this to but when i tried it on i just knew i had to get it but this dress is definitely for a future date now honestly with this next dress i don't know if i hate it or love it yet it is this beautiful red burgundy dress i love everything about it i just feel like it's a little bit too mature on me right now i feel like i would really love this in five years but i'm just gonna hoard it right now there are these gorgeous big floral prints all over the 
the dress. I also love that it has a thicker strap. One thing that I did notice about all of these dresses is that it's double layered. The outer layer is always a chiffon slash see-through material. And then the inner skirt is always a shorter length. I don't know what that style is called, but I am loving it. This next dress is definitely for an evening night out. It is this gorgeous black ruffled dress. It is the exact same silhouette. It just hugs me so, so well. The ruffling on this dress is a lot more subtle, only on the upper half of the dress. But it is also a midi and it is slightly asymmetrical as well. I just love this so, so much. It looks so bougie on. This last piece is my absolute favorite out of the bunch. And low-key, I want to gatekeep it. But at the same time, I feel like I don't have an excuse to wear this in the near future. But I'm so excited that I want to show somebody. Ugh, okay, guys, you can have a sneak peek. I am honestly at a loss for words. It doesn't look like anything as I'm holding it up. It doesn't make sense. But it is like the most gorgeous dress I have ever put on my body. It's kind of like a halter top moment. Like the straps go around your neck. And then there's like this piece that connects it to the rest of the dress. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just at a loss for words. This dress is from Anna Taylor and I'm obsessed with it. This is definitely a date night outfit and I'm so impatiently waiting to be taken out so I could put this on. It is so, so elegant. I do have to tailor it a little bit because it does fit me a little bit loose on the underarm area but I love how it hugs me everywhere else. It's just so chef's kiss so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed my very extensive overdue haul and i'll catch you in the next one